Okay, so this is the problem that we're going to be solving today. As you can see, I have my scale. So, what we're going to start out is by looking at the problem and just writing it down on the scale. So, there's a 2 before the parentheses, so that means we have to double what's in the parentheses. So, we, if you do the math, it's going to be 2x plus 8. So you do 2x, and an x has to be colored in, because when you go to level 2, it's going to be a white pawn, and you can't really tell the difference. So, yeah. And then another x, and you could just write two fours, but I like to do an 8. So, that's one side of the scale. Now, on the other side of the scale, it says x plus 16. So, you have to do x. This is kind of obvious, though, because x is actually a blue pawn, not a black one. So, I think everybody, most of the people know that, I hope. And then, 16, I'm just going to write a 10 and a 6, because that's what you would write. And um, if you had your piece, that's what you would do if you had your pieces. So, 10 and a 6. Sorry, my handwriting, not the best. So, what you do is you take away a blue pawn from each side. That's pretty, because you want to try to get um, the right side, my right, us, my right, ah. Uh, what is it called? The, you want to get the cube alone. So now we have, in one side, we have a blue pawn and an 8. The other, we have a 16. So now what you do is you want to take out the 8. You take out the 8. And then you take out the 16. And then you put an 8. So, now, we have one pawn, we have one pawn on left side, and we have an 8 on the other side. So that means x slash blue pawn would have to equal 8. So now, you have to like write that down wherever you want. Let's see, right here, x equals 8. And now what you want to do for the check is reset it. So you just do it all over again. You don't have to do the whole entire thing. You just do the setup, and then you see if you're right or not because of the check. The check is very important, trust me. Like the teacher would want you to do it, so just do it. So, you know, 2x, 8, and now x ah sorry we're having some minor difficulties <laughs> so now you do x and a 16 so now you do 8 8 plus 16 is obviously 24 and then you could do yeah, 24, and then you could just do 8 times 3, and that's also 24, and so that means check, okay, 24 equals 24, and that's how you solve the problem, okay, and I'm done.